Vital U.S. infrastructure, including the power grid, under cyber threat by Russian government hackers, potentially giving the Kremlin the ability to turn off the lights. The Department of Homeland Security and the FBI detailing a two-year multi-stage effort by Moscow targeting the U.S. energy grid. The hackers first gained access to small energy-related companies, planting malware that allowed them to move into larger networks. Once inside the energy suppliers, the Russians collected information on the facility's control systems, attempting to acquire the ability to turn those systems off. They're identifying targets, they're positioning uh, malware so they could pull the trigger when they wanted to. But they're also sending the United States a message um, we are in position to cause harm if we wanted to do it, and so you, the U.S., should be a little more careful. The Russians targeted other crucial sectors as well, including nuclear power, water, aviation, and manufacturing. Experts see the intrusion as a possible precursor to an unprecedented Russian cyber attack that could, in the event of war, <laughs> devastate the U.S. Ukrainian officials say Russia did the same to Ukraine in 2015 launching an attack on its electric grid that led to widespread power outages. U.S. Energy Secretary Rick Perry warned Congress that the U.S. isn't ready. I will tell you that I am not confident that uh, the federal government has a broad strategy in place. Russia is announcing this morning it will take action against the U.K. by expelling 23 British embassy staff from Moscow. It is just the latest move in an escalating dispute between the two countries, triggered by the killing of a former Russian spy in Britain. Elizabeth Palmer has more from Moscow this morning. Liz, good morning. Good morning. High-level diplomatic rifts follow a predictable pattern, and this one is no different. Everybody knew this was coming. It was just a question of when. Um, I just had a meeting um, in the Russian Late ministry. this morning, Britain's ambassador to Russia, Laurie Bristow, was summoned to the foreign ministry. Russia today has informed me of the steps that Russia will be taking. Starting with the expulsion of 23 British diplomatic personnel from Russia. It's a tit-for-tat move that mirrors Britain's expulsion last week of 23 Russian diplomats from the UK after the British government accused Moscow of poisoning the Russian exile Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Yulia, with a nerve agent. This crisis has arisen um, as a result of um, an appalling attack in the United Kingdom, the attempted murder of two people using a chemical weapon developed in Russia. In London, Britain's government. foreign secretary went even Russia. further, pointing the finger directly at Russia's president. Our quarrel is with Putin's Kremlin and with his decision. And we think it overwhelmingly likely that it was his decision to direct the use of a nerve agent on the streets of of the UK. Skripal's poisoning has forced the police to re-examine the cases of several Russians who died or fell ill on UK soil. Amid criticism that Britain's government at the time shut down the original investigations for political reasons. And in what seems like a strange coincidence, police now say Nikolai Glushkov, a former Russian businessman, was murdered last week outside London, though they say there's no link to the Skripal poisoning. But for obvious reasons, Russian dissidents in London are spooked. It does look as if relations between Russia and the UK and the UK's allies, including the US, are going to get even worse. So this is a bad time for the thinning of the diplomatic ranks, just as they may most be needed to defuse the situation. Anthony? Elizabeth Palmer in Moscow. Thanks, Liz. I would say right now, um they do not um, think that much will happen to them. They don't fear us. They don't fear us.